here we go. First, we focus on the keywords, okay? And the first keyword that's important here is that they have the same number of coins, all right? So Helen and Ivan, these two people, have the same number of coins. Helen has some 50 cent coins, so notice that we do not know how many Helen has, and there are 64 20 cent coins. Ivan has also some 50 cent coins and 104 20 cent coins. Likewise, we do not know how many Ivan has uh, in terms of 50 cent coins, but we do know that Ivan has 104 20 cent coins. Now, the important thing to note here is that Ivan and Helen have the same number of coins. So if Ivan has more coins, more 20 cent coins than Helen, what does that tell you about Ivan as well? That's right, Ivan would have fewer 50 cent coins because if he has the same number of coins as Helen, then to have more 20 cent coins, it would also mean that he has fewer 20 cent coins. All right, let's carry on with the keywords. Helen's coins weigh a total of 1.134 kilograms. And the first question is asking, who has a greater amount of money and how much more does the person have? The second question says, and it gives you additional information, that the mass of one 50 cent coin is 2.7 grams heavier, and heavier here is important, than one 20 cent coin. And with this, they are now asking, how heavy are Ivan's coins, okay? And we know that Helen's coins weigh this much, all right? You are required to give your answer in kilograms. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to draw two models of equal size. And the reason we draw two models of equal size is because of the words here, which says that they are the same number of coins. So with this, then what we're going to do is we are going to cut this up into 50 cent and 20 cent coins. So let's start with Helen. Helen has got fewer 20 cent coins as we have already uh, agreed. So if this represents her 20 cent coins, okay, let's just cut it randomly over here. Then we know that uh, Ivan having more 20 cent coins would be somewhere here, okay? Now we do not need to be very exact about this. It doesn't really matter, okay? And now let's just annotate a little bit. Okay, doing this, putting down the names. These are all really very important habits. Okay, this would be Helen. This would be Ivan. And these are Helen's 20 cent coins. And likewise, these are Ivan's 20 cent coins. Now, Helen has a total of 64 coins here, while Ivan has 104 coins. Now, what this means is that if this is also 64 coins for Ivan, then Ivan has a difference of 104 minus 64 equals 40 more 20 cent coins. And we have already agreed earlier that with more 20, uh, more 20 cent coins, then likewise Ivan will have fewer 50 cent coins. And we can see it over here. So Ivan has fewer 50 cent coins, Helen has more 50 cent coins. Okay, so let's just label this in. And in fact, we know that in terms of the number of 50 cent coins, that Helen has exactly 40 more 50 cent coins than Ivan. Okay, so, uh, 40, so we, let's just write this down to be very clear. So Ivan has 40 more 20 cent coins, while Helen has 40 more 50 cent 
coins. Okay. So we can actually put here 40 coins as well. Okay. Now, as for the bag portion, both of these represent 50 cent coins. Okay, so we are not just we are not going to put anything there, but what we do know is that they are made up of 50 cent coins and they are the same number of coins. All right, so let's go back into the question. The first question is who has a greater amount of money? So who do you think has more money, the one with more 50 cent coins or the one with more 20 cent coins? I'll give you a moment. And the correct answer is, of course, the person who has more of the greater value kind of coin, which is the 50 cent coin, would have more money overall. So since Helen has more 50 cent coins than Ivan, then Helen, who has the greater value type of coin, would have more money. So now we're going to say that uh, Helen has more money. And she has more money because she has more 50 cent coins. All right, the next question is how much more? Okay, now how much more goes like this? Imagine that the value here because they're all made up of 20 cent coins. And the value here, they're all 20 cent coins as well. Then the pink portion has exactly the same value. Over here are made up of all the 50 cent coins and for Ivan also 50 cent coins. Therefore, it has the same value. All the pink portions in the model have the same value. Where the value is different is over here. Okay, so now let's imagine Helen sitting down with 40 50 cent coins and Ivan sitting down with 40 20 cent coins. We already know that Helen has more money, obviously, right? But the question is how much more? So for every one 50 cent coins that Helen has. And for every one 20 cent coin that Ivan has, Helen has 30 cents more. And since this goes on 40 times, okay, each 50 cent comparing with each 20 cent, then there are 40 times of these 30 cents. And this will give us 1,200 cents or $12. So with this, we know that Helen has more money and she has $12 more. Now let's answer part B of the question. In part B of the question, it says that the mass of one 50 cent coin is 2.7 grams heavier than one 20 cent coin. But the other information that is given here that is important is that Helen's coins weigh 1.134 kilograms. This means that the weight of these coins here is 1.134 kilograms. So if we were to show this in the model, like this, in terms of weight, then 1.134 kilograms. And since the 50 cent coins are heavier and Helen has more, therefore Helen's coins are heavier. And hence Ivan's coins are lighter. But how much lighter? Well, again, we come back to the understanding that the weight of the coins here and the weight of the coins here are the same because they are all 20 cent coins. Likewise, the weight of the coins here 
and the weight of the coins here are also the same because they are all 50 cent coins. So where is the difference? It is where the blue, pit, the, uh, the blue parts are. Sorry about that. Okay. Now, if that is the case, then again, we can do a comparison just like what we did for the value. Okay. The value comparison was done here. And now we will do a weight comparison using the same concept. This means that for every 50 cent coin, compared to one 20 cent coin, there will be a difference of two. 0.7 grams. So if you have more 50 cent coins, you have more weight. You have uh, more 20 cent coins, you have less weight. And each coin's difference compared to 150 cent compared to 120 cent is 2.7 grams. Again, since there are 40 more 50 cent coins than 20 cent coins uh, for Helen against Ivan, then we are going to take 40 times 2.7. All right, so let's do this. 40 times 2.7. And this should give you 108 grams. Okay, 108 grams. You want to check this and divide this by 40 just to make sure. All right, and I get 2.7 grams. This means that... Ivan's coins, which is what they're asking to find, is lighter. So the weight of Ivan's coins, it's 108 grams lighter. Now, we cannot take 1.134, subtract 108. The reason is because one of them is kg and the other one is gram. So this working would definitely be wrong. Before we can even subtract, we must definitely convert the grams into kilograms because they want the answer in kilograms. So how do we convert? Very simple. 108 grams. Let's start with this. One kilogram is a thousand grams. So to convert a 108 grams into kilograms, given that there are three zeros, you would move the decimal back three steps and that will give you 0 0.108 kilograms. So in summary, Ivan would have, uh, Ivan's coins would be 0 0.108 kilograms lighter than Helen's coins, which is 1.134 kilograms. So to find the weight of Ivan's coins, all I need to do now is to take Helen's coins, which weigh 1.134, and Take away 0 0.108. Press this on the calculator just to be sure. And that would give me 1.026 kilograms. Okay, now let's just check this plus 1.13 plus 0 0.108 and I get 1.134. And so that confirms the answer for part B that Ivan's coins weigh 1.026 kilograms. So with that, we have the answer. Okay, you can always rewind this, look at it again until you fully understand it. And with this, if you would like to know more, take a look at my other videos where you will get to learn more concepts and how to understand questions in an easy way. And good luck with the rest of your PSLE. Take care. Bye-bye.